honestly. <laughs> this bottle is not only full of splashing, rushing rum, but 50 years of antiquity. It's the reason for this small gathering at City Hall. Mayor Dale Bumstead presented the bottle of rum to the family of Walter Wright on behalf of City Council. Today, to, it was about, you know, recognizing and uh, giving it back a little bit to uh, Walter's family, who was, Walter Wright was such an important piece of our community. And Wright's daughter, Carrie Shields, says he had that kind of personality and would sneak something like alcohol inside. It's been uh, it's been 50 years, and I couldn't believe when we actually loaded the the capsule that it was going to come this fast. <laughs> After months of digging through the antiques from the time capsule, it was discovered the bottle was put in by Wright 50 years ago. To be able to have the opportunity to present Carrie uh, Walter's daughter with that famous bottle of rum, uh, it just is a real cool thing. And so we're excited about now uh, moving forward with the new time capsule. Wright used to work here at City Hall. He was a city councillor during the 60s. And what would he say if he was still alive today? He would be saying, open that bottle and let's have a drink and a toast. Shields and Bumstead exchanged the bottle for two Canada Bicentennial bottles filled with rye and vodka that will go into the new time capsule. Yeah, they'll both go in and we'll make sure we uh, appropriately uh, document them in terms of how and why they're in as a follow-up to Walter's uh, initial uh, time capsule uh, uh, dedication that he gave with that original bottle around. City staff are hoping to have a small event to kick off the start of the new time capsule in December. Eric Tashner, CJDC TV News, Dawson Creek.